So far, we understood how do you basically declare data. We understood how primitive tools can be declared or how they will be assigned with values. But what is the use that if we just declare the data? So until and unless you perform certain kind of an operation, it has nothing to do. Example, suppose you de declare a product price. We just define float price is equal to so and so value. But what are you going to do with only the price? You have to perform certain operations on that particular data. So it's all about operation. So it's all about performing different kinds of operations on the data. Just declaring data does not do anything. So you have to perform certain kind of operations on the data. But how do you do that? So to perform certain kind of operations, Java supports operators. So operators are one of the very, very important topics for beginners because they'll understand how you perform operations on the data. So Java is very rich in operators. Operators allows you to perform certain operation on the data. So Java contains a lot of operators. So we're going to understand what are the different operators that Java supports one by one. The first and foremost operator is assignment operator. So the assignment operator is indicated by equal symbol. So whenever you use equals, it means that you're assigning some value. Are you assigning or you're using assignment operator? So first we'll understand how assignment operator are used. So assignment operator, as the name suggests, is used to assign the value to your data. Example, you declare a product, right? So a product price, example, flow product price. Now how do you assign the value? So you say product price is equal to some value. So that value you're assigning to the data. So if you look at this product price equals some value. So whenever you use equals, you're going to assign the value to your data. And Assignment operator also used to assign the value of one variable into another variable. So in our previous example, we have seen when you do type conversion, we are assigning one variable to another variable. So that is also called assignment operator. So assignment operator is used to either assign a value or assign the value of a variable to another variable. Let us see with an example. Hey, thanks for watching our content so far. If you are new to Training Mark, we are the fastest growing technology training company and create content to help freshers like you to master the disruptive technologies like full stack development, AML, cloud, DevOps, etc. If you like the content so far, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon not to miss any new content from us. Like and share this video with all your friends. Let's build your career and the community together. Let us understand assignment operator with an example. So I'm creating a new class to demonstrate. Right click, select new Java class. So here I'm calling this as assignment operator and select this class. And now I'm just selecting this main method. And let us talk about assignment operator. So usually it is represented with equal symbol. And uh, Generally, the syntax is whenever you want to assign the value of a variable to an, uh, uh, the value of a variable, so we'll use assign. Example, so we just define price. So now price equals, so I'm just using some value here. So now this is how do you basically assign the value of a way of a particular variable. So if you look at that, the assignment operator will be evaluated from right to left. Okay, what do you mean by that? So whenever you see this instruction, the assignment operation, so it won't be evaluated from left to right. It always will be evaluated from right to left, meaning the right value will be assigned to the left variable. So at line number six, price has nothing. But in line number seven, the value of the price is assigned from right to the left. So the assignment operator always will be evaluated Operator will be evaluated from, from right to left. So this is one of the operator, uh, operator that will be evaluated from right to left. Most of the operators will be evaluated from left to right. So this is the way that you assign the value to a variable. Or in some scenario, let us say I have a long. Now let us say price long, right? Now I want to assign this price long or the price value to the long, right? 
So usually what basically happens, right? So I'm just assigning this, we'll get an error because float needs to be explicitly casted to long. So I just convert that into long and then let me print as up price long here. Okay. Now means what are you doing here? I'm assigning one variable to another variable. And depending upon whether implicit type conversion, explicit type conversion, your type conversion or type casting will happen. But here we are assigning a variable to a variable. So the price will be assigned to price long. Right? So now I'll save this and then I'll run this so that we'll get the value of my price lamp that is 435234. This is what is the integer part of your right. So this is what is assignment operator. Used to assign the value to a variable.